Arrivals at Tilbury. The Empire Windrush brings to Britain 500 Jamaicans. Many are ex-servicemen who know England. They serve this country well. In Jamaica, they couldn't find work. Discouraged but full of hope, they sailed for Britain. Citizens of the British Empire coming to the mother country with good intent. Prodded by public opinion, the colonial office gives them a more cordial reception than was at first envisaged. Many are to be found jobs. A reporter asks them what they want to do. Now why have you come to England? To seek a job. And what sort of job do you want? Any type, so long as I get a good pay. Some will go into industry, others intend to rejoin the services. Now you're an ex-Air Force, aren't you? Yes. Are you going back into the Air Force again? Yes. Did you know if you'll be accepted? I think so. Some plan to return to Jamaica when conditions improve. I'd like to ask you, please, are you a single man? I am a single man. My, only my mother that is depending on me. And I'm also an ex-service man. Oh, ex-service? RAF, yeah, are you? RAF. I took a course in Scotland in case making. And uh, I'm desirous of going back there to see if I can further because I like it very much. And uh, I'm trying to help myself and also help my mom. Their spokesman sings his thanks to Britain. Now, may I ask you your name? Lord Kitchener. Lord Kitchener. Now, I'm told that you are really the king of Calypso singers. Is that right? Yes, that's well, so Will you sing for us? Right now. Yes. London is the place for me. London, this lovely city. You can go to France or America, India, Asia or Australia, but you must come back to London City. Well, believe me, I am speaking broad-mindedly. I am glad to know my mother country. I've been traveling the countries years ago, but this is the place I wanted to know, darling, London. This is the place for me. 